I want to get you more analysis on this story. I'm now joined via sky by Holden Chow Ho Dean, a member of the Hong Kong Legislative Council. He is also with the Democratic Alliance for the Betterment and Progress of Hong Kong. Mr. Chow, great to have you on China 24 today. I want to go straight to the point and ask you this important question. I believe many of our viewers are wondering right now why are changes to Hong Kong's electoral system? Necessary and will it end up undermining the city's autonomy promised under the one country, two systems framework? Now, definitely, it's definitely it's necessary to have a change in our electoral system to prop the loopholes because we have seen the social unrest, the turmoil in 2019. We see the lawmakers who exploit the roles to collude with foreign governments and urge them to impose sanctions over Hong Kong SAR. They support the riots. Uh, they call for a de facto secession from China. So in short, they are simply posing a very serious threat to our national security. We see how they exploit their role via the loopholes in our electoral system. So right now we need to pluck the loopholes and imagine if we sit on our hands, that would ruin the entire city and also ruin our nation because you are simply allowing people who exploit their roles in LegCo to collude with foreign governments, right? So um, something must be done. And the second question is whether that would undermine the autonomy of Hong Kong. Definitely not. That's not the case. Uh, surely that will by no means undermine autonomy of Hong Kong. Um, I say right now, uh, when there is a change in our electoral system, going forward, views opposing government policies is always welcome because Hong Kong is a city with diverse views. But we need to draw the red line right now. We are only make sure that those who are railing against Chinese sovereignty over Hong Kong SAR We'll make sure that these people who would collude with foreign governments, who would pose a serious threat to our national security, we make sure that these people would not be able to take part in governing Hong Kong. So I think this is something to be done uh, to safeguard our national security. And on the other hand, I'll make sure that the people or even opposition, if they are simply expressing views opposing government policies, they are welcome to do so. Mm. And I'm sure that many people blast the government for their, uh, to disagree with their policies every single day. Mm. So I'm sure that that would not undermine the autonomy of Hong Kong. And another issue on the minds of many people is what makes a patriot? The National People's Congress says changes must be made so Hong Kong is governed only by patriots. What does that mean and what changes are likely to be made? Well, I think um, the reason why we need to have change in our electoral system right now is, as I said, to pluck the loopholes in our electoral system to make sure that the principle of patriots governing Hong Kong is fully implemented. I think over the past 23 years, I'm sure that there is actually loopholes in implementing the patriots governing Hong Kong. So as I said in the, uh, the turmoil in 2019 that exposed all the dire consequences of these loopholes. So uh, again, I would assert the fact that uh, if we are talking about the change in our electoral system, the me uh, is th there should be a mechanism to safeguard national security, uh, to make sure that for those who are against Chinese sovereignty over Hong Kong SAR, or for those who are advocating, say, uh, Hong Kong independence, so make sure that make sure that they are not able to participate in governing Hong Kong, uh, and that's the, the general principle. And you ask me what sort of change would be made, the exact change would be made, the details. Um, I don't know the details yet because the NPC is still thrashing out mm. uh, uh, different proposals. Mm. But uh, according to some news reported. Uh, for example, people say the district councillors, the role of the district councillors, whether they should stay on in the election committee to choose our chief executive. Now, um, the district councillors, 
Uh, the district council are dominated by opposition camp after the 2019 the social unrest. Mm. But sadly, the district councillors no longer uh, uh, focus on livelihood issues. They don't bother with local issues at mm. all. They just exploit their role in district council to do some frivolous things. For mm. example, they insult the police, they incite hatred towards central government, or even they sing a song for Hong Kong independence. Mm. Now, given their stupid behavior and uh, notorious behavior, I see no reason why these district councillors are still allowed to stay on in the election committee to pick a, gotcha. a, a, a chief executive. Gotcha. So that might be a change. Yeah. We'll, we'll certainly keep a close watch on any changes happening there. Holden Chow Ho Dean, we appreciate you taking the opportunity to talk to us today. Thank you.